It's an opportunity to change the world, inspire, and when you get right down to it, it's all in how you look at it. Because when it comes to the world of art, it's up to you to interpret it. Especially when a beautiful piece of artwork is put in a public place for all to see. As the public nonprofit organization, the Newport News Public Art Foundation made its mark on the lawn right outside the Main Street Library in Hilton Village that will have you literally standing on top of the world. I think it's very important to kind of recreate and reinvent your city uh, in some unique way. We've chosen to do it through public art. In a city like Newport News that's completely built out, you don't have many opportunities with building new buildings. Public art gives you an opportunity to put something new and fascinating in front of existing buildings and existing neighborhoods. What we have today is the culmination of a project that has been going on for over two years. This is the installation of a sculpture by an Italian artist that I met about five years ago named Emanuele De Reggi. And this is a wonderful piece of art that we feel is whimsical and playful that will help uh, identify with Hilton Village, the Hilton Library, and the entire uh, Hilton community. We're very excited about it. Yeah. Today is the nuts and bolts part of sculpture installation. Today is the day when this physical huge thing shows up in our city and we have to site it, we have to locate it, we have to drill holes in it and mount it and decide exactly what the orientation is of the sculpture. Uh, you see a piece of artwork and it's installed, but what we do is spend hours moving the sculpture around, deciding, walking out in the middle of the street, looking at it and seeing what would be the best, best angle and the best viewpoint for all time, really, because once we install it, it's pretty much here forever. The piece uh, itself talks about the, the way you, 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 you manage to overcome troubles or obstacles. So the game of Carambola is this game of jumping. The sphere can be seen as a planet, if you wish, at the same time as a rolling ball where you have to, to be in balance. You know, it's a pleasure to be here this morning. When we do these public art things, it really brings a sense of excitement to the community. This art is a project that is unveiled today because it is at one of our libraries. It reflects a sense of achievement, this particular one of conquering the world. And for the young people, you all know that by studying and getting a great education, you can conquer your world. You can be what you want to be and you can do what you want to do and all you need to do to get there is to get the very best education you can get. There's great opportunity out there, wonderful things for you to choose to do. And just like the statue that we'll see is standing on top of the world, you can be on top of the world too with a good education. In addition to the many generous donations received for this particular piece of artwork, the students at Hilton Elementary School raised over $700 and were able to learn a whole lot more about the wonderful world of art.